Hey there! How do you catch a unique rabbit? You kneek up on it! Ah, 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 ah. How do you catch a tame one? Tame way! Waka waka waka! If you like jokes like these, or you hate jokes like these, you might enjoy the game, Why Did the Chicken? This is a party game I'm going to be talking about this week on Board Games with Scott. This game is one of the newer party games, and it's in the line of apples to apples or things like that, where everyone does something at the table, and then one person decides which ones they like the best. Why Did the Chicken is all about coming up with the punchlines to jokes. What's really clever about it is that not only is it a party game where you have fun, but you're going to get develop your sense of humor as you play the game, because you're going to be forced to come up with things on the spot that are at least an attempt to be funny. And you'll find that as you play this game more and more, you're actually going to develop your sense of humor in everyday life. So it's a great game not only for having fun, but for learning something as well. And this week on Board Games with Scott, there will be a special contest. I won't be posting details about the contest on my website. You're only going to find out about them by watching this podcast. So go out, get a piece of paper and a pencil. You're going to want to write down some information a bit later on when I talk about why did the chicken. Now let's take a look and see what sort of stuff you get inside this box. So here's what you get with the game. Hang on. I got another joke for you. What kind of wood do you use to build a cow shed? Huh? Cattle logs! <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> anyway, here's what you get with the game. You get a set of pads, some pencils that say, why did the chicken on them? You get a timer to help you time the game. You get a single sheet of instructions, which aren't very long, but you don't need a lot of instructions. They're just fine. And then you get the box of cards, and there's two types of cards in the game. You've got these cards, these are question cards, and the question cards will give you the structure for a question. Something like, for example, what's the punchline of the old joke about blank and blank? Or, why is blank envious of blank? Why is blank afraid of blank? And what's the difference between blank and blank? There's a number of these question forms. Then most of the box contains these noun cards. So what you do is you pull these two noun cards, and if it's in, when you're the judge, you'll pull two cards. You'll decide the order in which to fill in the blank if it matters. Some of them it doesn't matter. So you might say, well, why is a boa constrictor envious of a swimmer? So you ask the question from these cards, and everyone writes down their best answer. So the cards are a little on the thin side, you know, but you don't pass them around a lot, so it works out okay. During a game, you're only going to use one pair of cards and one question card for each player in the game, so you're not going to be going through the cards very quickly. There are a lot of noun cards, so you're going to be pulling a pair of these each time for each question. There's lots of combinations of the pairs of cards, so even though it doesn't look like a lot of cards, when you think about pulling them out in pairs, you end up getting a pretty large... Uh, large possible field of questions from which to play. So here's the way the gameplay goes. Wait a minute, I've got another joke. How did the dermatologist start their business? From scratch! Ah, ha, ha, waka, waka. Sorry. <clears throat> so the way the game goes, on each turn, a player who's the judge will pull out a card from the questions and pull out two cards from the nouns. They will look at them and make a decision about what order the cards are going to go to if it matters. So why is an aardvark envious of a swimmer? You then start the timer, and everyone has the amount of time on the timer to write down as many answers as they'd like. They, it's unlike a lot of these games, you're not limited to just one. You can enter as many times as you want in the, in the time limit. So you begin scribbling furiously, writing down answers, folding them over, passing them into a pot. You may focus all of your efforts on one good one, or you could do five or six poor ones, hoping the judge will pick yours. The judge then collects them all up and determines the top two as winners, and those two people each get a point. Then the role of the judge passes to the next player, and you keep going until everyone's that had a chance to be the judge once. And that's how it goes. Um, the scoring is, is pretty easy. What you do is when you determine the two winners, you give a noun card to each of the two winners, and that's how you keep track of your points. So at the end of the game, you just count up your noun cards, and whoever has the most noun cards is the winner. But, you know, we're all winners in this game because it's comedy, and comedy makes us all happy. So that's the way the game goes. It flows pretty smoothly. It's a fast game. It gets people laughing, having a lot of fun. I've really had a lot of fun with this game. So, you know, I've been talking about this contest, but before you get to it, I've got another joke for you. 
What did the hat say to the hat rack? You stay here. I'll go on ahead. <coughs> okay, it's time to play the game. So hopefully, you've got a pencil and some paper. It's time to get your crayon and your pencil. And we're going to play Why Did the Chicken? What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw one of these question forms, and then I'm going to draw two nouns. Now, I haven't looked at this ahead of time. We're going to be playing together at the same time. So if you don't get a pencil and paper, this is going to be really boring time for you because that time's just going to click away, and that's about all you'll be watching. Now, when you're done, you're going to send your best response to contest at boardgameswithscott.com. That's contest at boardgameswithscott.com by February 18th, 2006. The folks at Play Again Games have volunteered to be the judge. They're going to look at these and they're going to pick the best one. And they're going to send the best one a copy of the game. Now they have requested to only send copies of the game to North America. So if you're from another country, you can go ahead and submit your answer. And if it's good, I'll post it on online, but you won't be eligible to win the copy of the game. So again, get your pencil and paper ready and let's see what we get. Our question form is, what do blank and blank have in common? And our two nouns are a swimmer and a duck. What do a swimmer and a duck have in common? Are you ready? And go. Oh boy. Let's see, well, they both they both uh, swim. Well, that's not very funny. They swim. Ho ho ho. No, no. All right, let's take it. Um, Swimmer and a duck. Time's up. Pencil down. Okay, now I want you to send yours to contest at boardgameswithscott.com. So, what do a swimmer and a duck have in common? Here's my answer one butterflies while the other flutters by. Get it? Butterfly flutters by. Okay, well. It's not going to be too hard to beat, Scott. I'm sure you'll do better than that. So send your responses in by February 18th, and we'll see who's the winner. So that's why did the chick... Wait a minute, before we continue, I've got another joke for you. What did the surgeon say to the patient who refused to pay his bill? All right, suit yourself. <laughs> anyway, that's why did the chicken... I'd like to thank the folks at Play Again Games for sponsoring the Why the Chicken contest, and I hope to have future contests. It's a nice game. You can play it with families. Uh, one note on that, if you are going to play with kids, you may want to go through the cards and take out some of the cards that you might not find appropriate for your kids. But it's a great game for kids and adults. Um, it's a great party game. It's a great game to you to sit back and enjoy. It will develop your sense of humor. Over time, you'll start to think about things in different ways. And so it's a very fun game for that. I do highly recommend this game. And remember, if you want to participate in the contest, just send your best response to contest at boardgameswithscott.com and send it in by February 18th, 2006. And the folks at Play Game Games are going to judge and pick out the best one. And they're going to get a copy of the game. Thanks for coming to Board Games with Scott. If you'd like to see more of these, you can go to boardgameswithscott.com. Before you go, I got one more joke for you. What's the result of a cow being sterilized? She gets decaffeinated. Waka, waka, waka! Well, maybe I won't tell any more jokes. I guess I, guess I deserve that. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next week on Board Games with Scott. Bye-bye! But what happened when blank turned into blank? You like the match game. And it is a chimpanzee turned into. <laughs> we, we, we won't use that card. <laughs> I drew a fart. I'm not doing any fart jokes on my show. Well, at least not on purpose.